<rire> hey, je sais bien, je joue au football avec mon ami. Non, j'ai joué au football. Oh, Kaisa. <rire> that's, what, that's kind of my point today. It's a bit awkward now. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it awkward? That's, what, that's what, kind of what I'm saying. We should be pronouncing this beautifully and well because it is a beautiful language. And the accent. But we don't do that. We just waffle away and go, talk and tie. Anyway, right, this is lovely. Talk and, talk and tie. So where are we going today? Tunnel. Tunnel. So two things today. Although this will be the second thing because this is the remote disused. Today, this is a remote disused from, right, let's try and pronounce it. Let's not try and pronounce it. Pentry. It's written just here. Yeah. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, this was, and we'll talk about it more when we're on the way, but this mm -hmm. is around about one, one and a half kilometres from the nearest road or access point. We're probably going to try and park in that access point because we're a little bit tired. Um, a lot of walking yesterday. Yeah, we were thinking of walking from the west, um, which we're also doing some filming today from Tarpentai Tunnel. Um, we were thinking of walking from there, but it's about four miles or something it's a bit eight mile round trip plus going through that tunnel which could be wet and soggy and as we said before we are not that fit, <laughs> not that fit are we? so anyway so yeah today uh remote disused from uh yeah let's go okay right. okay bag right so we've just arrived Torp and Tai station, which is just there. Um, Torp and Tai tunnel, which is that way. We're going to have a wander around and a nose at the station if we can. Um, I need to have a wander around the area here because it looks really nice. And what a glorious day today. Rebecca has got a funky hat on. It's a bit nippy. It is a bit nippy today, so it's funky hat time, which will stay with us till. What, March, April next year? Yeah, quite possibly. Okay. All right, first thing I'm doing is having a quick peek across here, Rebecca, just to have a look at this um, like little stream or river or something. Okay. That's a big drop down there. What an amazing view all around us. We're 1,300 feet above sea level. I wonder how much of this was built by the railway company when they built the station and, and the tunnel and things like that to divert the water because you look at all that, it's, it's like zigzag concrete it? isn't it and I wonder if that was used to slow the water down for whatever reason. Yeah. So you see a lot of that then, we saw a lot of that in Scotland didn't we? Yeah, where they had it down the side basically, Yeah, the kind rope. of brick walled, yeah because yeah. they brick walled it away from where it was originally flowing. Yeah. So, read yesterday that the, the Brecon Mountain Railway Company want to carry on. Obviously, to carry on, they've got to do a number of things. So, first thing I'm thinking is here, and I did read this, but if you look, we're now railway level height, right? In terms of going that way, there's clearly, obviously, that is the railway, right? Yep. So, we're right here, here, level on the railway. Um, now, you'll note that the railway there is what 20 feet lower at least 20 yeah. feet lower it's not at the top but it is at the bottom yeah i think that's level but either way yeah yeah it, it looks like it comes down but i don't think it comes down that much i think it's a bit of a trick of the eye okay. so talk to the first station first and again as per yesterday's conversations everything we're saying at the moment is very welsh but spoken with a bit of a uh, southern english accent <laughs> so forgive us english welsh 
keep gateway clear, mountain railway, Torquay Tire Station. Torquay Tire Station. First of October. How many trains today, Rebecca? Zero trains today. Zero trains today. Zero trains today. On what days the railway is closed? Right. We're trying. We've got a picture which we'll overlay now, and we're trying to work out exactly where that picture was taken, and otherwise where the station is. Um, we thought it was. There's the. There's the little station that they built for the, the um, narrow gauge railway obviously that's not the site I think it's back over the other side of the road because of the curve yep it does seem that way the picture shows a clear curve and yet this bit's fairly straight the bit that goes alongside the station now we've got a lot of um, earthworks there so back on the other side of the road and we're wondering if that's the station there part of the station right we'll have a look at the, the um, picture again and see if that is the case So we're just walking down the other side of the valley towards the other entrance to the um, Tarpon, Tarpon Tide Tunnel and there's the valley. So on that side of the valley is the road that goes all the way around the north side. On this side of the valley went the railway, the Brecon Murphy Railway. And halfway along it, or perhaps more than that, just around the corner, you can't probably quite see, um, is the station in question. The station we can't pronounce. Um, well, yeah. You can probably see the line, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a line all the way through it there, which is the railway. Um, interestingly as well, a few hundred metres above that um, was an even older railway, a horse and cart railway from 1815 I think, um, which went right up the top of the hill, back down the other side again towards Dowless. Tunnel. Um, I say we made it out. I'm gonna go up that way. Um, we're on the waterlogged bit and the wellies at the moment are just, <laughs> are just suitable. Rebecca's got about two inches left on the wellies. Um, we think it's gonna get deeper so we're gonna try and go up this top side bit here. Let me walk along here and see how. See? I'll just stay here. You stay there. I'm going to walk along here and see how we do. I said that. <laughs> Any second now, it's <laughs> Welly Gate is going to occur. <laughs> oh. I'd go back and round them where I am. Okay, we're going to have a bit of a problem there, but. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Just you're just going to get a welly full and just go slow because you're going to get a welly full which is going to be um, Cold. potentially entertaining for viewers but on the other side of the booth I've cleaned socks up in and uh, cleaning dry shoes and dry socks okay <laughs> so while welly gate continues um, what can we talk about the breakneck and murder railway was the railway's nickname um, Apparently owing, not because there was a train stuck in there in 1947 for two days with passengers on. How scary is that? But more so because um, of the many accidents that occurred on the line owing to its steep gradients. Which makes sense because even the tunnel, there's a massive gradient going through that tunnel. Right, tricky bit coming up. Right, made that bit. So, I'm going to try and keep in bear in mind that this is a video about the remote disuse station two miles that way. But actually we've now walked back in the wrong direction through the tunnel to get to the back to the car. Which means in my mind, we visit the tea shop. Yeah. Tea rooms just down the road. Oh yeah, let's go see, let's go see. Um, 
and then we drive back over the top to the other side rather than walking a four mile walk from here. This is the start of the Talibon Reservoir and we have driven, because we cheated a little bit, from um, Torpentai Tunnel mm -hmm. or and Station and we've driven all the way down the side towards the start of the Talibon Reservoir and obviously the railway went from the tunnel side which is right up around that corner all the way around the valley there and you can see the line when I come this way you can see the line up there and the station that we're going to walk to when we do find the right place to park is probably just around that corner if you can see the lower group of conifer trees that's pretty much where the station is um, so the plan is drive right down the end of the reservoir come back up that side of the reservoir park the car where there's a parking um, facility um, car park that's what i'm looking for <laughs> um, and walk the one and a half kilometers to the station right so we parked up just the other side of the reservoir just the same side we were of the reservoir and the dam end there's loads of works being done on the dam as you probably just saw in the clips um, we didn't really want to drive across so we thought we'd walk the extra extra bit um, our plan was to drive along the bottom road down here next to the reservoir but actually now we're on the actual old railway so we're walking along it to the old station this comes close to the Princetown Railway do you think in terms of gradient? yeah maybe we'll have to work out what it is later by looking at the OS map okay just coming up to the um, remote disused and there's six vans four cars a jeep quite a lot going on so remote though it may be um it looks a bit busy right so that was um the adventure center which was the old station um so what we're trying to do now we couldn't do a lot of filming down there because there's quite a few people about um, doing their thing so we thought what we were trying to do is head south up the hill literally up the hill um, to try and find what is an even older railway which was a we mentioned earlier a sort of a what did they call it a tramway it was still a railway we just pulled by horses rather than anything traction like <sighs> legs are burning legs are burning Rebecca's just clearing some jungle foliage oh. <laughs> <laughs> I properly properly unfit oh that was a hill though wasn't it god that was a hill yeah yeah so this on foot now and the other way obviously is one of the oldest original railways in the UK I think it was built in 1815 and not a railway in its traditional sense of steam train train coaches blah 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 this was a horse and cart job but nevertheless on a tramway and the sign Brunor tram road so this is proper proper 203 year old railway through down the trees in there again didn't do any reading on this it was a bit of a last minute thing wasn't it so we're going to walk all the way back down the Bryn Brynor tramway um, and see if there's anything we can see which possibly remotes a little bit of uh, the geography and the history of it other than the actual bed itself that stone there has something absolutely carved out of it it's like an iron it is, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, my 
hope is that one of you will know a lot more about tramways than I would know and can fill us in on how these worked. It's very stony and underfoot now. Um, yeah. It is like some kind of. And some of the others have a point that goes to this. Yes. Because they've actually got the ending as well. Oh, sorry. I can't tell you how exciting this actually is. Just walking down this straight pathway here. It's sad, I know, but this is the most exciting thing ever. Right? This is how dull I probably am. This is a 203 year old tramway that we're walking on. Straight line, old architecture. It's just beautiful. Can you imagine being someone that worked on this line? It was probably an absurdly hard life that I can't even comprehend. But nevertheless, it's now, right now, this is just romantic beyond. This is a beautiful, beautiful thing. That's probably us wrapped up for today. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the vlog. Not sure what's coming next, but this is the third of the three videos from Wales. Thank you for watching. Um, as we hopefully said at the beginning of the video, which we probably didn't today, do subscribe because we are doing as much of this as we possibly can where we're just exploring old places, um, old landscapes, old transportation, like what we are on now. Um, so yeah, so do please subscribe, do like the videos, do comment with any thoughts you've got where you think we should go next, what you think we should do next, because we're always definitely looking for ideas and we're always open to suggestion, because most of these that we've done are from suggested anyway, so don't think that your comment will be ignored, we will definitely take on board what people say and suggest for us to do as little adventures. Yep, definitely. Um, so yeah, like, subscribe, and smash the notification bell. <laughs> Smash it! Smash! <laughs> Laters.